Hello everyone, welcome back to the walkthrough. This is probably the level you've all been waiting for. The one, the only, touch fuzzy, get dizzy. <laughs> oh, you know this level. If you've played this game before, these guys, they turn into a ball, they roll after you, you can slurp them up, you can also shoot at them, I mean shoot with them at things to get flowers and stuff like that, but not really necessary in this particular case, if I recall correctly. Well, it wouldn't have been necessary. <laughs> I just wanted to show you something, like an alternate way of getting it, but what you're really supposed to do is use them to get that flower. Alright, anyway. Hey there. I would like to replenish my eggs now that I am done messing around here. <laughs> So, the, the idea is this is just to roll them across the ground like that, which just automatically hits the flower. Because, oh, there's a hidden thingy here. Um, because, yeah, the thing about that is you can't to shoot an egg directly downwards, and the actual hover jump to get on one of those platforms to go through these um, logs from the other side, not really the easiest thing to pull off. Oh, and they only move when they're in ball form, when they are uh, on a hill. Oh, and these are tap taps. Get it? Because they're sound? Yeah, they're all super spiky and they're also incredibly invincible. Unless you knock one into the other. You gotta use tap tap versus tap tap. But you know, there'll always be one left over unless you knock it into the abyss. Um, now, there, yeah, there's some eggs and stuff that are flashing. See those? See the flashing? Yeah, you can tell on the camera. There's also watermelon here. You get a, you get a bunch of seeds out of these watermelons, and you can shoot them in a straight line just by doing one at a time, or do a scatter shot by holding the button. <laughs> but needless to say, the thing that I'm going for here are these special eggs. Now I'm going to shoot them at the tap taps, because they'll make the eggs explode into them. And I also think that there is a something hidden thing, if I recall correctly, in this dirt. There it is. And that'll give me a key, which will take me to said bonus area. But first, but first, <laughs> let's get our coins. And through the door we go! What kind of bonus area is this? Gather coins. Grab more coins to your enemy before the time reaches zero. If Yoshi wins, you will get a helpful item. Finally, I may actually be able to get an item. <laughs> Touching him doesn't hurt you or anything like that, but you gotta kind of offset each other while watching the cannon at the top of the screen. It's all skill-based and it's quite fun. <laughs> no, 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 you don't. No, you don't. Let's see. Oh, I was gonna say, let's see if I can get a perfect score. <laughs> it knocked me for a loop, though. Alas, alas, I couldn't get a perfect score. It is mega sad. Mega sad, but I won by a pretty large margin. <laughs> and this will turn enemies into question mark things, which will allow you to get stuff. So that's actually pretty handy, come to think of it, because you can use that to recover um, stars and whatnot. Um, do I dare try and get a perfect score? Maybe. Maybe. Well, anyway, this is actually a nice way to grind for items, uh, if you'd like to do so, but items really aren't necessary. But they do definitely help on the super hard stuff, though. Um, it's just a thing of that, well, I, I, I would like to get runs as smoothly as possible on camera, <laughs> otherwise you don't want to watch me redo the level 80 times over for one missing star, so I would absolutely like to get some star recovery things in my inventory, and no, I didn't get a perfect score, alas, alas. By the way, you can just keep jumping on him. Oh, just got the same item. But yeah, you can just keep jumping on him repeatedly if you have good timing. Similar to uh, Boom Boom in Super Mario Brothers 3. And just kind of kind of keep him disabled while you do other stuff. Oh yeah, the uh, um, tan ones, they drop off the edge. And the silver ones, they always get stuck on the very edge. But you can actually knock them off with your tongue like so. Uh, now let's see what else might be missing around here that might contain a secret or two. Uh, I don't remember if there is a hidden thing in one of the... Oh, ho, 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 no you don't. Uh, okay, there's definitely a secret there, I know that much. <laughs> you guys are kinda, kinda crowding the ground here, so I think I might have to clear out... Yeah, oh no, 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 don't you, don't you dare... Uh, I'm gonna have to get them to respawn. <laughs> they just happen to go in that certain way. Oh, come on. 
Come on, guys. Please, just... You know what, I'll do this. Maybe that'll turn him into stars. That did! That, that'll get him the permanent... Oh! No! <laughs> that'll get him the permanent... Permanently despawn. Ah! And I had that all nice and set up, too. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, well, at least they're blocked in by the dirt this time, because the dirt at least respawns, so... I guess that... Oh! I guess that is a benefit after all. But I will have to recover... Oof, I will have to recover some eggs for the sake of 100% safety here, so... Just just let me have a little snack here, and we'll be good to go. Uh, let's see what's down here, though. Uh, any flour? Any sort of... No, I mean, I can go for uh, 30, 30 stars here, <laughs> if I really wanted to, <laughs> by doing that trick again. But, eh, uh, we'll, we'll do that if we need to come to it. I don't think that that's going to be a necessary evil. <laughs> uh, now, did I get those? Yeah, the red coins are still taken there, so up to that midpoint is all set to go. Uh, this isn't death, but those red coins there, but it may as well be, because here are the fuzzies, the- oops, I accidentally hit the select button. The ultimate in addictive substances. I must, with all my power, resist eating any sort of fuzzies, because it, it's just too trippy, it's too addictive, and... Ah, oh, screw it! <laughs> yes! Oh, feels so good. I miss this. Oh, yes. You're touching fuzzy. Us oh, makes me really dizzy. Oh, just like the title of the level says. Oh, it's good stuff. Oh, so, so dizzy. But I still must 100% somehow. It wears off eventually, but that doesn't stop you from going back and getting yourself some more of these spores. Oh, yeah! Mmm! That's... <sighs> Give me that, okay. Woo, I'm back to normal, okay, good. I'm good. And if you hit those, they pop and explode other guys off to the side. It is a pretty impressive enemy. Pretty, pretty impressive enemy. You know what it is? Marching milled or mild. Marching milled or mild. I forgot how it's pronounced, but yeah. Whoa, some good stuff. Are there any more? Are there any more? Come on, guys. Respawn. Respawn. No. No. My fuzzy cloud. It's gone. Unless I replay the level. It's gone. <sighs> I miss them already. Oh, I told you they're addicting. Now, this isn't the most uh, intuitive of things, but if you ground the pound, yeah, ground pound, you can smash your way through these. They sort of give you a hint that you're able to do this because there's these coins down here that you wouldn't be able to get otherwise. But, but, well, it took me a while to figure this out when I first played through the game because it's not. It doesn't really, it really seem like it's gonna break. I mean, you can jump on this all you want, but it doesn't seem like it's gonna do anything. But if you pound it, yeah, that'll work. I mean, yeah, there are things that react to ground pounds in this game, obviously, like the posts and stuff like that, but it just does not really come into... Wait, what? Where am I missing... I'm missing four red coins? What? That can't be... What? That can't possibly be... Where did I miss the poopers? Was there like a hidden thing in that dirt? Maybe. Maybe. Well. Well. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. That's disappointing. Because now I gotta do the whole thing all over again. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not really sure I missed something. Maybe there is something in something, some of the dirt, but I just don't... Like, I do recall there was a level that had an exclamation point switch in the dirt, and then you'd use that to get into another area, but I don't remember this being the one. I mean, it could have been the one. Oh, oh. oh yeah, they don't hurt you or anything like that. It just kind of bounces you around. <laughs> 
Anyway, you can go backwards if you'd like to. You just, yeah, have a fun time defeating the piranha plant for me. And that's how it's normally supposed to go, by the way. You're just supposed to use them. You're also supposed to use them to kill the tap taps as well. So I guess it was nice that I was able to re-show this level, um... It was all on purpose. Yes, all on purpose. <laughs> Alright, let's get ourselves seated up. And yeah, you could also use them to shoot at flowers just like you would with your eggs and whatnot. Um, but yeah, I don't know if there is... Like, this isn't the thing that I'm looking for. Is it? I think I got this before. Yeah, that's just a key. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just gonna I'm gonna look through all the dirt and see where those last four coins are because maybe it's it's at a hidden area or something like that. Um, and be careful not to throw your uh, flashy eggs, by the way, for obvious reasons. Oops. Uh, like don't ah, I wasted my flashy eggs. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I still gotta just look for, look around for those missing four coins anyway, so. I'll, I'll look around the dirt and just recollect stuff as I go like I did before. Hey, I won this again, and sure enough, you do get the same item again, so... I guess that's all it gives you at this particular one. So I guess when you find one that gives you stars, I would... I would work on that one and get yourself a bunch of those star panels. <laughs> I've just found a nice fancy way to get those red coins, because this one... Yeah, you can't knock them off the edge that way, so that's uh, that'll be kind of nice. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff. Oh, <laughs> premium fuzzy spores straight from the body of the fuzzes. Fuzzes. Fa I, I just can't say it. It's fuzza. Oh, she uh huh. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, I'm back. Back to normal. Um. Um. Yeah. I still didn't find anything back over there, so maybe it's not actually over on that side, but it's something over on this side. So I'm just gonna take a look, see around here, and see if there's anything that. Oh, if there's anything that sort of kind of looks like something that may or may not be important. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that, that should leave me with four coins, right? Yeah, still four coins. Um, and uh, uh, I just remembered it. <laughs> when I seen that top of the log, I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah, it's one of those bogus secrets. So yeah, you got some flower guys over there. And we also got a chomp rock hanging out over here, but, 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 just gotta get it off the wall here by rolling it far enough away so we can push it, and then we can kind of get ourselves, oh, give ourselves a beanstalk. Woo! Yeah! That's why I didn't go around the other side, because the coins that I'm looking for are actually up here. I can't believe that I forgot about that. Little dragonflies flying in the air happily. There's the last one. Oh, I, there is actually something like... I mean, I can't jump down from that side. I thought there was a little little gap that would allow me to do so. Well, anyway, I gotta be careful. Don't be fooled by any flowers. Don't be fooled by the flowers themselves. Oh, ground pound to make those guys lose their flowers. You can also wait for them to respawn and just kind of eat all their stuff to refill up on eggs. It's a... They, they look pretty dangerous, and they might be if you didn't de-pedal them, but they really aren't if you do just that, or you just focus on getting eggs and stuff like that. But alright, so I, I guess I, I, all, all I did was miss that little jibble at the very end on my first run then. So there wasn't really anything too, uh, too exciting missed back there, so yeah. There we go! 100%ed level, baby! Woo! Woo! <laughs> that puts us up to 700 points and we unlocked bonus one! What bonus one? No, there can't be secret levels, can there? Oh, but there can. Let's see, let's see how quick I get Kemek this time. Oh, that, that I actually might want to keep because it turns enemies into stars. Uh, the POW block, but let's see here. Uh, every time I say I want to keep something, I get the Kemek. <laughs> so yeah, um, getting 700 points unlocks 
unlocks. There she is, a super special bonus stage. But I'm not doing that just yet. <laughs> I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I do 1-8. Maybe other stuff, who knows? <laughs>